keying off of their miscues, especially forcing some turnovers. John fires a shot. Shot off the oh. back and in. And we talked about miscues. Now Miami has their first miscue, and it leads to success. John, with the initial shot, gets redirected over the top of Crosley, and then it just bounces in the back of the net. Boy, that is probably one of the definitions of puck luck. Yes, it was. You saw it bounce at least two, maybe three times before finally landing behind Crosley. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we see that here. Let's take another look at the replay. You see it just bouncing right on top of her, and boom, it just gets knocked in just barely. Looks like Mackles actually might be the one to get credit for the goal. Stretch now has it. That fires another shot off the pad of the goalie. Another shot, and it's a goal for Poulsen. Top shelf bouncing down there. That goal happens because of the rebound control. Unfortunately, Crosley wasn't able to have. Great job by Stretch. She keeps that play alive as she just play, goes in pinches. She thought about going back and it keeps it in. Nice shot from her. Juicy rebound high in the slot. No one's there. When you got a girl like Poulsen, who's one of the top scorers in all of the ACHA this season, she's going to make no mistake and she's able to tuck it on the short side, glove side of Crosley now to give the Flames a two-goal lead. Polson's 12th goal on the year. Have you guys talked about the white pants? We have not. We were waiting for you, actually, God. because we knew. Oh, my goodness. Being the guy that likes to critique the jerseys and swag, you would say something. Mackles now with a chance. Fires it. Shot blocked. And then her own rebound. Shot a goal. What a second effort by Mackles. She ended up getting three shots off on this play. A fantastic effort by her. Take a look at it here. Does a nice job protecting the puck. Drives it on goal. Here's the first stop. A second. Stays with it. The backhander finally finds the twine to put the Flames up three to nothing. We've got Ali Morris right now taking abuse in front of the net. Feed it there. Like, give her something to work with. Nice cross crease pass and a beauty finish by Paulson. But I love the work that John is doing in front of the net. Or pardon me, Morris rather. Polson second of the night, 13th on the season. And we see here why the Flames offense can be so deadly. That's just a fantastic read by John, and that is how you draw the power play. Play broken up by the Red Hawks. Red Hawks trying to get something going here and are unable to as it ends up back in Flames' possession. Moving forward now is McLeod. McLeod with a shot. Oh! And that's oh! Oh! What a snipe. Whoa. Top shelf. Goaltender Crosley thought that one was going over the net and it kind of caught her sleeping a little bit. I also believe she thought that McLeod was either going to go low pad here and hope to bank it out to the oncoming flame there on the far side of the ice. But talk, talk about picking a corner. Yeah. But instead, or to be able to make a move instead, that's a smart play, clears it all the way down the length, almost leads to a Bradford being able to make a play until she gets the stick on it and then as the power play expires for the Red Hawks, finally breaking through, Gargis gets the first goal for them, and now we're seeing life come back into the Miami bench. That is her fifth goal on the year, and she now has uh, seven total points. Looking here with a, a nice shot for the goal right as time expired on the penalty. Flames were almost able to get number six. Red Hawks able to take it back from the Flames. They're looking to get another goal here, and they do! That goal coming from number 17, KD Skylos. It all happens because of, we said how one thing the Flames need to work on is tighten up the defensive zone. A turnover happens, leads to a bit of a three on two. That's a great shot in the high slot. Bernie's trying to play it so she can block it, but unfortunately, you can kind of see, potentially might be screening Rapoli, and boy, great shot being able to pull the trigger. And that will be game. Uh, Flames win this one 5-2 to two in an impressive showing. That third period, the Miami looked like a, almost a different team. Yeah, they really did. The second half of this game, great job by Miami responding. And as we said, potentially could be momentum they bring into tomorrow. But Flames still... Offensive might really was the story of this game. We said how they had the number one offense of the country. They showed that again, not only out shooting the Red Hawks, but putting five up on the board.
And Rapoli has, uh, I think her uh, goals against average is going to go up as it was as it was just .8 before going into this. Allows two tonight. It was a great game from these two historically good teams here. Goals going everywhere. Five goals Liberty, two goals to Miami. And uh, tomorrow these two will face off again for game two of this two-game weekend series against these two great programs. This is Jared Dean alongside Pat Strong from Brett McGibbon wishing you all a good night.